Planet Comics was a science fiction comic book title published by Fiction House from January 1940 to winter 1953. It was the first comic book dedicated wholly to science fiction. Like most of Fiction House's early comics titles, Planet Comics was a spin-off of a pulp magazine, in this case Planet Stories. Like the magazine before it, Planet Comics featured space operatic tales of muscular, heroic space adventurers who were quick with their ray pistols and always running into gorgeous females who needed rescuing from bug eyed space aliens or fiendish interstellar bad guys. <laughs> Publication history Planet Comics No. 1 was released with a cover date of January 1940, and ran for 73 issues until winter 1953. Initially produced on a monthly schedule, issue No. 8 September 1940 saw it slip to a bi-monthly title, which it held until the end of 1949. From issue No. 26 September 1943 Planet Comics was cut to 60 pages, resulting in the merging of two strips, Flint Baker and Reef Ryan. Issue number 63, Winter 1949, began a quarterly release schedule, but number 64, number 65, and number 66 were ultimately released annually, dated spring 1950, 1951, and 1952, respectively. Issue number 67, Summer 1952, got the comic back on its quarterly release schedule, but the title only lasted a further 7 issues, with its last, number 73, again delayed for over a year, following issue number 72, Fall 1953. Topic: Style and Themes. Planet Comics was the foremost purveyor of good girl art in comic books of the period, and is considered highly collectible by modern fans of comics' golden age. It specialized in colorful and lurid stories of interstellar action, ingenuous and attractive heroes and heroines, breezy dialogue, and the barest smattering of sense and substance. Benton 1992, p. 27. Its covers usually featured a beautiful, scantily attired spacewoman with long bare legs being menaced by a frightful alien monster, while a sleek, heroic spaceman comes to her rescue. Sometimes, though, Planet Comics reversed this formula, both covers and stories occasionally provided heroines who handily defeated the space aliens and interplanetary villains with little or no assistance from males the comic was also seen as a fantasy title. Cynics might have noted that this sex equality strategy in effect simply multiplied the number of lovely girls shown per panel, and ensured that each and every panel featured at least one smashing space girl. Topic. Writers The Flint Baker, Space Ranger Stories, according to Raymond Miller featured such writers as Al Schmidt and Huxley Haldane. Jerry Bales and Hames Ware's Who's Who of American Comic Books mentions Herman Bolstein and Dick Briefer. Bales and Ware also list writers including Walter B. Gibson, The Shadow, and Frank Belknap Long, as working on various features for Planet Comics throughout the 1940s. Topic. Artists The strong female heroines of Planet Comics were complemented by fiction houses employing several female artists to work on such tales, particularly Lily Renee, Marcia Snyder, Ruth Atkinson, and Fran CES Hopper Nay Dietrich, whose art for Mista of the Moon was often stunning. In addition, many artists who would become well-known names worked on Planet Comics stories over its 13-year history. 
These included the likes of Murphy Anderson, Matt Baker, Nick Cardi, Joe Doolin, Graham Ingalls, George Evans, Ruben Morera, John Cullen Murphy, George Tusca, and Maurice Whitman. The early covers were drawn by industry legend Will Eisner. Later covers were predominantly the work of two men. Dan Zolnerovic later Dan Zoln, and Joe Doolin. Zoln is believed to have produced covers for issues #10 to 25, January 1941 to July 1943, and Doolin is thought to have illustrated all bar three of #26 to 65, September 1943, spring 1951. Topic: Reception and influence. While young male readers were no doubt attracted to the pin-up quality of Planet Comics's artwork, letters from readers printed in the comic demonstrate that its readership also included girls, who were perhaps drawn to the array of competent and capable space heroines Benton 1991, p. 31. Planet Comics was considered by noted fan Raymond Miller to be, perhaps the best of the fiction house group, as well as most collected and most valued. In Miller's opinion, it wasn't really featuring good art or stories in the first dozen or so issues, not gaining most of its better-known characters until about the tenth issue. Only three of its long-running strips started with the first issue, Flint Baker, Oro, Lord of Jupiter, and the Red Comet. The comics historian John Benton offers this summary, Planet Comics was the epitome of breezy, sexy, mindless, action-filled science fiction. In many respects, it was a throwback to the earlier science fiction magazines and simpler times. Topic. Characters and features Flint Baker, one of the longest-running strips, Flint Baker was another athletic space hero, who became part of the Space Rangers. Baker's debut story, The One-Eyed Monster Men from Mars, was also the first story in Planet Comics No. 1, illustrated by Dick Briefer. Flint Baker was the main hero and cover feature of most of the first 13 issues and after 25 issues he team ed up with reef ryan to form the space rangers when planet comics dropped its page count appearances between issues number 2 and number 60 initially as flint baker later as space rangers were illustrated by a full range of artists, including Nick Viscardi, Joe Doolin and Artie Saff, Arthur Petty, Lee Elias, Frank Doyle, and Joe Cavallo. The Space Rangers were drawn by Lee Elias, Bob Lubbers, and others. Oro, Lord of Jupiter, two different characters of this name appeared in Planet Comics. The first incarnation was the son of Professor Hardwich, and appeared in most issues between hash 1 to 29. He was essentially an outer space version of Tarzan, where Oro was befriended by a saber-toothed tiger, stranded on Jupiter with muscles as strong as steel, thanks to the higher gravitational pull of the planet. The best artwork on the first series of Oro stories was, wrote Miller, by Raphael Asterida, whose name Jerry Bales and Hames Ware spell, Raphael. Oro's second incarnation started eleven issues after his first ended, in issue number 41, when a young scientist named Chester Edson, crashes on Jupiter, and his Spirit is transferred into the body of the original Oro, who is thus resurrected as a Flash Gordon esque hero. Miller names Dick Charles as the main writer of both series. Bales and Ware list only Richard Case and Herman Bolstein. 
Oro was illustrated by a number of different artists, among them Doolin, Graham Ingalls, and Asterita. Miller suggests that August Froelich drew the appearance in issue number 41, and says that Ingalls was the last artist. The Red Comet, a costumed hero who fought crime all over the universe. The comet sometimes grew to giant size, like the Spectre. The feature was written according to Miller by Cy Thatcher and appeared in issues number 1, hash 3 to 20 and number 37. Accompanied by a girl, Dolores, and a boy, Rusty. His adventures were illustrated for Odd Adventures by Rudy Palais and a host of artists with only Alex Bloom, hash 6 to 10, and Saul Rosen, hash 17 to 19, thought to have drawn more than 2 episodes. The Lost World, The Red Comet was replaced by The Lost World, which appeared in issues hash 21 to 69, as the lead feature becoming one of the longest running strips featuring Hunt Bowman. The first episode was drawn by Palais, with Viscardi taking over for issue number 22. Set in the 33rd century, Bowman was a guerrilla fighter alongside Lisa, Queen of the Lost World, against the reptilian Voltaemon, conquerors of Earth. Miller notes that, I, in number 24 Hunt and Lisa returned to Earth and never returned to the Lost World. In issue number 36, the duo were joined by three more Earth people, named Bruce, Robin, and Bonnie. Later episodes were drawn by Ingalls, C. Hash 24 to 31, Lily Renee, Hash 32 to 49, and George Evans, Hash 50 to 64. Reef Ryan, a heroic space captain, not much different from. Flint Baker. Ryan also became part of the Space Rangers, after appearing solo in issues hash 13 to 25. Miller names the writer of Reef Ryan and then Space Rangers as Hugh Fitzhugh. Ryan was soon dropped from the newly named strip, however, in favor of a boy named Hero, issue number 42. Initially drawn by Al Gabriele, later issues featured inks by George Tusca. The Space Rangers, from issue number 26, with Planet Comics page count dropped. Instead of dropping any characters, the Ryan and Baker strips were combined to form the Space Rangers. The Space Rangers uniforms were echoed by those seen on TV's Rocky Jones Space Ranger. 1954. Gail Allen, a voluptuous female space adventurer who led her all-girl, girl squadron, on wild outings, Gail appeared in almost every issue between number 4 and number 42. Written by Douglas McKee, Gail and her girl squadron were illustrated by Bob Powell in issues hash 4-10 and Fran Dietrich, Hopper in hash 28-40. In or around issue number 34, the squadron were dropped. Futura, Gale's replacement feature was, according to Miller, a good series with fine art. A smashingly lovely crusader for interplanetary justice, and she appeared in issues hash 43 to 64. The first six issues were drawn by Astrida in the style of Mac Raboy, while Joseph Cavallo is thought to have inked, drawn many of the later issues. Futura began with a scantily clad girl abducted by her invisible pursuer and taken to the city of Simradia in space. The strip was drawn in a manner similar to Prince Valiant, with no word balloons in the panels. Star Pirate, the Robin Hood of the Space Lanes, looked very much like the DC Comics hero Starman, and appeared between issues number 12 and number 64. Among several artists, George Apple produced a dozen early issues, while the bulk of issues hash 33-51 were drawn by Murphy Anderson, whose additions transformed the pirate into an almost completely new strip. 
Three late issues hash 59 are credited to newspaper comic strip artist Leonard Starr. Mars, God of War, named by Miller as one of the most famous strips, the adventures of the ancient Roman god causing violent mischief on other planets appeared between issues number 15 and number 35. They were credited to writer Ross Gallen, and all drawn by Doolin. The embodiment of evil, the spirit of Mars would single out a man or woman who had evil in them, possess them, and run rampant until the end of each story when good always triumphed. Mista of the Moon, in the Mars feature in Planet Comics No. 35, the god discovers a young boy and girl taken to the moon by one Dr. Court, who has placed all the culture and knowledge known to man into their brains. In the events that follow, Mars possesses the boy's robot, and is ultimately defeated by the girl, although the boy and his robot are killed. The girl was Mista, a gorgeous female version of Captain Future with a robot sidekick, and she took over from Mars in title as well as spirit in issue number 36. Appearing in issues hash 36-52 and hash 55-62, after Doolin, the strip was most notably illustrated by Fran Hopper hash 37-42, hash 48-49. Norge Benson, between issues hash 12 to 32, comedy relief was provided by Norge Benson, written by Olaf Bjorn, whom Miller identifies as Kip Beals. Benson was accompanied by a girl, Jolie, a white bear, Frosting, and a reindeer, Hatrack. All Walker drew issues hash 12 to 22, with Renee, Jim Mooney, and Fran Hopper drawing later episodes. Other extra features included Spurt Hammond, human defender of the planet Venus, who appeared c. issues hash 1 to 12 or hash 8 to 13, created and drawn by Henry Kiefer, Captain Nelson Cole. Later an officer in the Space Patrol, appeared in Solo Adventures C, issues hash 1-14 or hash 8-14 and was originated by Alex Bloom. Crash Barker. Also. P. Arker was one of several space heroes, drawn. And possibly written. By Charles Quinlan for issue number 6 or number 8, running until number 16 by other artists. Another space hero, Buzz Crandall, also had adventures around this time, drawn by artists including Gene Fawcett, Cosmo Corrigan, and Don Granville, also appeared in three to four issues around number eight and nine to eleven. Other less notable short lived strips included Korak, Super Pirate, Amazona the Mighty Woman, Tiger Heart whose one adventure was drawn by Fletcher Hanks using the pseudonym Carlson Merrick, Space Admiral Curry, and Planet Payson. Topic. See also Planetary Romance <laughs>